Uh, welcome to our little uh, video tutorial for Wiggle, our Wii-based gesture learning environment. Uh, my name is Matthias Rehm, I'm from the Lab for Multimedia Concepts and Applications at the University of Augsburg and I will lead you to the different steps for using our Wiggle environment. Um, the idea is uh, that this environment allows you to use the Wii mode uh, in your own application and you can train and classify arbitrary gestures for your application. Before we start, I will say uh, some words to the Wii mode, Nintendo's uh, new controller. Um, it features three accelerometers, which means that you can register acceleration in the three axes. And this is data that we use to uh, recognize or to classify gestures. And uh, first of all, we have to connect the Wii mode via Bluetooth with the computer. First of all, we have to connect uh, the remote to the computer via Bluetooth and to do so you have to press the buttons 1 and 2 at the same time and then uh, you can see here that the remote starts blinking and it's very uh, important that uh, this is blinking all the time you uh, trying to set up the connection. So if it stops, just press 1 and 2 again. Now you have to go to the Bluetooth icon in your taskbar and uh, make a right click and say add new connection. Now just follow the instructions uh, in the wizard and uh, Bluetooth will start searching for devices. And here you can see that it found a Nintendo controller and now you have to connect it. Now the remote is connected and it should still be blinking and when you now start the wiggle environment it will stop blinking uh, and you can start to train your gestures. The wiggle environment incorporates the whole classification pipeline. That is the whole process uh, that you need to classify gestures. And that means first of all you have to uh, record samples of gestures that will be used to train your classifiers and after you have trained your classifiers then you can use these classifiers to uh, classify new instances of these gestures. And I will lead you to the different processing steps now in the Wiggle environment that allows you to do exactly these different steps, that is uh, recording samples of gestures, uh, training the classifiers and then using these classifiers for classifying your gestures for your chosen application. To demonstrate uh, the processing pipeline, we will concentrate on a, a very small uh, and simple example. We want to uh, classify one and two. And here you can see how the gesture is done for one and how the gesture is done for two. So first of all, we have to uh, record the training set uh, on which we will train the classifiers and that means we have to uh, give the computer some examples on how these gestures are done. To train a classifier uh, you need example gestures for the different gesture classes and our examples will be the digits 1 and 2 that we would like to train now and that we would like to recognize later on. Okay, to do so, uh, we need to go to the Data Manager tab, which allows us to create uh, the folder structure that we need for our different gestures, and that allows us to record our example gestures. So in our case, we want to distinguish between the two digits, 1 and 2, and thus we create a gesture group, uh, which, oops, which we would like to call Digits. Next, we need our two gesture classes, which would be uh, 1 and 2. One. 
And we can see here we have now our class 1. And we need a second class for our second gesture 2. OK. OK, now we need to define another uh, folder here for the trainer, the person who is doing uh, the example gestures. This is necessary because uh, it sometimes depends on how you handle the remote, if uh, it's possible to recognize the gestures, and that means that uh, sometimes user-dependent classification works better than user-independent classification. And to allow you to simply switch between different uh, people, you can define here the different trainers uh, for the classifiers and ju then just train for a specific uh, trainer. Okay, for example, we have created trainer 1 now for our class uh, of 1 and we create another one which is also trainer 1 for our second gesture class. Now we are ready to record our example gestures. And I will start uh, with the gesture for one. And to train a gesture and later on to classify a gesture, you have to press the B button on the remote and then do the gesture and then release the B button and the gesture will be recorded and uh, later on classified. So let's do, let's say, 10 uh, examples for our gesture one. one Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we need our 10 examples for our second gesture class, which is uh, the digit 2. And uh, yeah, let's just do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now we have our example gestures and what you can see here are the data points for uh, the first example for a digit 2. Yeah? And what you can see here in each uh, row are the three values that the accelerometers uh, sent from the remote. Each row represents uh, three values that are sent from the three accelerometers from the remote, that is for the x, y and z axis. And uh, this information then is used to calculate features on this signal. For example, uh, the maximal value of these data points on each axis, or the minimum, or the mean value, and so